we're back i know it's been forever and a few more days since you've seen my face but i'm finally back i'm in a new space i'm in a new city i'm in a new place and i can't wait to catch up with you and tell you all of the things that have been happening in my life and all of the things that are to come so if you want to see how i got this look and what i've been up to just keep on watching So I know it has been so incredibly long since my last video and especially since my last makeup video, but a lot has happened. So we're going to get into it. First, the scenery. I know it looks a little different. I'm in my closet in my new apartment. This is where I'm going to be filming from. I'm going to change the setup like work with it a little bit um i have these like built-ins all around me and so um i'm just gonna kind of play with the placement of where i want my vanity to be and like where i want my filming setup to be from so just bear with me on that one um we are in dallas texas which i'm so okay i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my makeup i'm gonna put all the products i use in the description box because i'm just gonna be talking to you the whole time because it's a ketchup and because i'm getting ready to go to brunch so i need to hurry because i'm running late um yes like i said i'm in dallas texas that is where i moved to um people have been asking me like even in my family why dallas um and when i was looking for places to move after grad school before the pandemic occurred um dallas charlotte and chicago were all um were all places that i wanted to move like those were all places on my radar dallas just happened to be after a lot of um, research and um, just thoughts, prayers, things like that, Dallas just seemed to be the best place for me right now. I definitely don't think I'm going to be here forever, um, which also, like my family members are like, well, where else do you want to move and why do you want to keep moving? And I wouldn't consider myself a nomad, but... I definitely just don't like staying in the same place for too long. My dad was like that growing up. He moved a lot um, with his family. And so I've kind of just adopted that same mentality. I absolutely love traveling. And um, what better way to see a whole bunch of places and just experience, which is something that I'm really big about is the experience of things. So what better way to experience um, different places than to live there and be engulfed? And I think that's where my love for anthropology came from. But so yeah, that's where we are. We're in Dallas. I moved on June 11th. It's currently June 19th. It's Father's Day. Um, and I'm going to brunch. I think I'm going to this place. I can't remember the name. But I think it's called Elman Grove, Elman Grave. I put the right place on it, on here, um, and I'm going to be vlogging. Nothing's crazier to me than when I put on my full, like, prep my face, and then you start to see the yellow, like, you start to see the green undertones in my face that I never see any other time. Sorry, that just stuck out to me. Things that have happened since we last were together. So I got promoted at my job which we love 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 um I love my job so much I love the people that I work with it's honestly a blessing all of the prayers um and all of the cries to God and my prayers have been answered in multitude so yeah got promoted and I moved I bought a new car I'll insert a picture of her. Don't really have a name for her yet. My last car's name was Birdie. Um, like an old woman. Her name was Birdie. And I wanted to name this car Bartholomew. But my mom didn't like that. So <laughs> Why Bartholomew? Bartholomew, you may ask. Because my youngest nephew has a... Um, imaginary friend and her name is Brittany 
and so I had to have one and her his name is Bartholomew yeah so speaking of youngest my oldest nephew was they had their baby last night so I have a niece finally I'm not the only girl well I wasn't I was the only girl but <laughs> I finally have a niece. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet her. I was so, like, honestly, I was so sad last night getting, because my sister called me, like, every hour to give me updates because it's her son, and I was so sad that I couldn't be there because they're in Knoxville, and I was just, uh, made my feels, but then I was talking to my best friend who called me last night, and... I was like, when you think about it in the grand scheme of things, I have never been there for any of my nephews to be born. So why would I break the tradition, you know? like So yeah, I bought a new car, I moved, and I got promoted. All the things that I've been praying for for the past nine months happened all within three months. <laughs> really just two, really two months when you think about it so yeah I did take a break from filming just because I wasn't in like I wasn't in like a joyous like happy um creative I wasn't sad or anything but you know when you go through like a transition and you get super duper stressed you get super duper overwhelmed those emotions alone can send you into a whirlwind so like I wasn't sad and I was happy that I was moving but I know myself I'm very emotional and I knew that I was just gonna be that the move itself and all of the changes especially because they were all great like it was everything that I had been wanting everything that I had been praying for so to finally see all of the things that I've been working hard for and um praying for come to fruition to see all of those things happen especially all at once it made me emotional and didn't i didn't really know where to place those emotions i would have taken you guys on my journey to buy the car but it literally happened in a week like a uh, three weeks before i moved so i'll just tell you the story three weeks before I was set to move my parents and I had a conversation and it was just like I knew I had to buy a car this year like I knew I had to buy a new one my car's 10 years old I got it eight years ago so I knew I had to buy a new car this year at some point and I was gonna make it my birthday present to myself um but it might have been like a later birthday present but that was gonna be like the big thing that I bought myself this year because I try to buy myself one big gift every single year. And that was going to be it. at least one. If I can do more, we do more. Right before I moved, I like literally three weeks before, I was about to schedule an appointment to get some maintenance done on my car that was way overdue that I needed to get done before I left because we drove my car to Texas. Like we were going to drive it to Texas regardless of what car that I had. It was going to be driven. I wasn't going to have it shipped. I could either spend all this money to get the car fixed, like the maintenance done on the car, then have to turn around and get a whole, like buy a whole new car in a few months. Or, and I'd be doing the process by myself because I'd be doing it up here. Or, just go ahead and buy a new car while I'm here and I have you guys help. So that's what I ended up doing. We had that conversation on a Monday. That Friday I went to go, or maybe that Wednesday, I went to go see a car. That Saturday we went to go see a car in a different state. Hated that one. Came back, and I love the car that I went to see first. Came back and saw the car again. The next day we came back and bought it. So yeah, I have a 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. <laughs> Couldn't remember what it was she's black she's a beautiful she's a big body my nephew called it a soccer mom car I was like don't didn't I already have one of those with my Volvo like wasn't that already what I had okay so yeah I was gonna do like a full-fledged 
get ready with me i am gonna do the rest i was just i was having some technical difficulties with my hair this morning couldn't figure out what i wanted to do and i'm like in the summertime i love having my hair in braids like the whole summer even though it's not summer oh it's june so it's summer i just you know i just got here so i need to go ahead and get that figured out so that i can get that done so that i don't have to worry about my hair and then I'll just keep getting it done, touched up, redone over and over again all throughout the summer. Because I just don't want to have to deal with it. And the Texas heat is no joke because it's dry heat. So, <clears throat> it's a different kind of beast. But so yeah, that's what we have been doing. And I'm just so excited. One, you guys know if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, stop what you're doing. Pause the video. If you're doing your makeup with me, put your beauty blender down. Go follow me on Instagram. You did it? Okay. So, if you know, I've just been so anxious to move wherever that was going to be. Because at one point, we thought I was going to stay in Nashville. That lasted for about a week, that idea. And then... I was like, no, baby. Not only is, like, the cost of living in Nashville just, like, astronomically outrageous. I just don't want to be there. Like, I want y'all to miss me. You feel me? Like, and I'm just very opposed to, like, see something else. There's more to life than the town that you grew up in. There's people, I know people that live in Nashville that ain't never left North Nashville. I'm here to tell you, there's more to life than your small town that you grew up in. Go find it. And when I told people, I was like, there's nothing left for me in Nashville. It's just not. It's kind of like a t-shirt. I've been there, done that. You know what I mean? There's just nothing, there's nothing left. Just like there was nothing left for me in Louisville. After those seven years were up, it was time for me to bounce. And people were just like, Oh my god, I can't believe you're leaving. Like, why would you want to leave Nashville? Why are you still there? And on top of that, I work from home. I can go live wherever I want to live. And do whatever I want to do. I used to think all the time, why do we even want to move to these, like, small... Like, you volunteered to move to these small, podunk towns. Granted, I don't live in a small, podunk town. But you don't want to just explore, like, other things... Like, you can go see other places in the world and not just visit them. Like, you can go live there if you'd like. There's more to life than what everybody else does, you know? Step outside the box. Get out of your comfort zone. And then you have your occasional, why are you moving? Like, I'm going to miss you so much. Like, I can't believe you're moving. Why are you moving so far away? Da -da 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 -da. And it's like, bro, I've been home for nine months. I ain't seen you not once. But now you're so concerned that I'm moving away. It's like, you quite literally weren't that concerned because I would have seen you. I get it. We're in the midst of a pandemic when I moved home. That I get. But let's not use that as a whole excuse because y'all been outside. Y'all been outside, right? I would do my little, you know, tour de France. My little tour de Nash. Get a COVID, uh, get a COVID test. And then go back inside for a few days. Then once I got the vaccine, I was like, oh, we outside. And I still didn't see none of y'all. So it's like, don't be so concerned about what I'm doing and where I'm going to be if I was, for lack of better terms, readily available to you down the street and you never, you know, tried to make plans. Luckily, every person that I did tell that I was moving here, once I got past the why are you moving there, they were like, you're going to love it, which I am I knew, which is what, you know, I was hoping for was to really enjoy it, you know? And some people like going back, like some people I understand, like you may, that's where all you, like for me, all my, majority of my family is in Tennessee but I also have family in Texas so it's not like 
and I have friends here already. So it's not like I completely moved here and didn't know anyone at all. But I do know that there are some people that all your family is in one place. But then there's other people where all your family is in the same, is, is not like all your family, like your family is spread out. I just don't want to ever be one of those people where it's like I'm stuck in one place and never want to go see or do, you know, anything else. So, yeah, that's what that's my little shablam. It's my little spiel. So with that being said and now that i'm in my own space again we are about to ramp up the content okay we're about to ramp up the content it's about to be a whole new world over and through here i have so many things planned i am still trying to get don't get me wrong now i am still trying to get situated and um this is today is sunday oh it is giving petals of blush like I was just not expecting I just really thought it was just gonna be like mm. I, I, I'm here for it I'm here for it I haven't been having the best blush days recently but I have been so you guys know I finally got a new Morphe uh, contour palette and it's the deep glam 8d one I think they have a, uh, a medium and a light, but this is because I've been using an old, old Orphe, Morphe palette. And so for, I don't want to blind you guys, but for blush, I've been using this highlight shade, this blush shade, but I hadn't been using like this, this one. And so, or like this brightener shade because you guys know I like orange blushes. But then this one is super duper red and it has um, some sparkles in it. But then this one's like more meat, like it's super duper matte, but it looked just too like, it gave, I don't know, something about it I just didn't like. But then I just started doing all three and it's giving, it's giving today. Okay, I just had a moment. But yes, ramping up the content. Still got to get situated, which I'm almost, I'm almost there. Prime day is this week, and so I have some stuff I need to get um, from there. Majority of the things in my house are from Amazon. So I'm just, things are just going to rev up, like all around, right? Like, Instagram content is going to be better after I'm done getting ready. I'm going to go take a picture um, and have that for today. Be doing some more TikToks. Um, I have actually two, ironically, I have two TikToks um, in my drafts right now. One of them is my bedroom reveal of my furniture and the other one is my living room. And they have the cutest songs behind them so as soon as for my living room I have to put all of my like pictures and stuff on my walls which I'm still trying to figure out where those are gonna go and then I have it's not like an entertainment center but it's not a TV stand I don't really know how to explain it and then um, a lamp and then excuse me a lamp and then a accent chair and it then it's pretty much done my vanity's out there right now and I'm using it as my desk but that'll probably be like that for a while because I found this beautiful desk but the chair that I found to go with it is so expensive so I and I but I want it it's from Pottery Barn and I want it so I'm trying to see if I can justify buying the chair if I can't justify buying the chair then I need to find another one and it just took me so long to find that one so that'll be the last thing that we get done in there 
Okay, I'm gonna do my lashes off camera because you guys know that takes forever in two days. Okay, I figured while my lashes are drying, I'll just go ahead and do my brows. But so yeah, that's what we have to, that's what we're waiting on for that TikTok. And then my bed frame came two days ago and I put that together. So that is up in my bedroom right now. It's green, it's like a velvety green, it's beautiful. Um, and I'm ordering, God, I need to do my brows. Like they're so full and thick at this point that I cannot figure out where they end <laughs> at the top. Like, whoa, Nelly. I'm waiting on two nightstands that I'm going to um, paint once I get them. They're white and I'm gonna paint them black. And then um, two lamps that are gonna go perfect in there. I'm so excited for them to get here. Um, just two like in table, like side table lamps. And then I gotta get a new TV, which that can wait. I have this like these white shelves with uh, just like holes in them and you put um, like black drawers in them. Wow, my eyebrows are thick. Okay, so I'm over them and so I kinda wanna do floating shelves on a few sides like a few of the walls and then I also kind of have to figure out where I want some pictures to go forgot that my bedroom was in my closet were both carpet because I almost bought rugs for each of them I'm so glad that I didn't wow my brows are harsh today you know, luckily I'm just, it's just going to be me and me by myself. Now I'm going to do my lashes off camera. Okay. Lashes are on. I think that I've been putting my lashes on backwards. Like I think they're currently on the wrong lash, but it's okay. I think that they're on the wrong eye, but it's okay because I like it. So we're going to do some highlight because this Texas heat I, with the sun, I need to give you all of the things. I can't just not right 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 so yeah that's pretty much all that's been going on with me i am super excited like i said the content is about to be revving up we're about to be doing all the things um and a lot more is about to be pumping out for me and i'm super duper excited to be in this place and to be at this point in my life um, it's a new chapter. Last time I started a new chapter, it was seven years ago, and seven's my favorite number. We're, we, we just want all the good vibes, okay? Like, this is about to be, like, this is gonna be great. My time in Texas is going to be great, and I'm excited, and I can't wait to take you guys around on this journey. This will go up next, and then hopefully we have a, another just, like, day in the life vlog happening. Just something like that we've done like around the city, whatever. And I found some more things to do, found some more places to hang out. Last night when I took pictures and did my makeup, I put this lip on and I let it sit for a minute and get dry and then put the other lip on and it looked so good. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna show you my fragrance and show you what I'm wearing and then we're gonna go. Okay. So I'm back and in honor of Father's Day, this is one of my dad's like old pajama shirts that I'm wearing and I've just got on some blue jean shorts and the perfume that I'm wearing is from Maison Margello, the replica in, um, this is a lazy Sunday morning, perfect for Sunday and I'm just going to finish up my lip and then put on my shoes and we're going to be out of here. I got to go. Okay, so this is the final look. I am so happy to be back on YouTube making more videos. Like I said, throughout the video, we're going to be doing more. I'm going to be giving you more now that we're in a new space. Um, I hope you guys liked this catch up. It was quick. It was impromptu. I'm literally on my way out the door to brunch and I was like, let me sit down and film something. You guys got to see my makeup for the day, my outfit, my fragrance, and also catch up with me and what's been going on in my life for the last few months. I got a lot of requests to do this on Instagram so I thought it was perfect as always 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell your friend to tell the friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.